Nemesis, Walter White, <laughs> a chicken, a dog, a fox mask. <gasps> the gas mask from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to another video about Project Playtime. As of right now, when I'm recording this, the game still isn't out. And I woke up this morning, I was like, I want to see if anybody has found anything uh, interesting about the game or if the developers dropped anything. And I looked in the Poppy Playtime Creator Discord and found an enormous leak full of uh, gameplay, uh, behind the scenes footage from developers, all of the skins in the toy box. Guys, literally when I downloaded it from Google Drive, because like, I don't know, man, I, I don't want to lose access to it. It is 2.34 gigabytes of Project Playtime stuff. Look at it all, look at it all. Now, if you guys are excited for this stuff, excited for Project Playtime, let the developers know how big of a fan you are by liking the video and letting them know that you're still waiting patiently and still plan to play the game. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more Project Playtime info and leaks like this. And look how cute Boxy Boo is here. I mean, he's the cutest one of all. Look at his little hand. All right, so that's the toy box. That is where the skins are going to come from. And you guys have seen most of these. These are the countdown images that they were posting on Twitter and on Discord. And yes, those are the things you guys have already seen. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what even? They're like endoskeleton versions of them. Can we, let's zoom in here, dude. Endo uh, Huggy Wuggy and Endo Mommy Long Legs and I think an Endo player, oh, and an Endo Boxy Boo. He's just inside the box. We've got behind the scenes, we've got some character access, and then cosmetics, which are literally all of the skins that you can buy in the game. But well, let's go back to the behind the scenes, uh, because uh, this is going to give us some ideas of gameplay. And this is going to be a long video, guys, so strap in, grab a snack, pause the video, go grab a snack, uh, get some water, uh, because we have a lot to cover here, and I'm going to try and keep it under 30 minutes, but I don't like, well, okay, this is a short little video here. Uh, I don't know how long. Okay. So, okay. This is, this is literal gameplay. I mean, it's, it's sort of like in piggy build mode, but, uh, this is, uh, demonstrating that you can open these crates and close it. Oh, look at this. Well, <laughs> they don't, oh, so there you go. This is how you're going to play with her. Now, obviously there's going to be like animations of her walking and crawling and climbing up the wall, but this is what's going to actually happen to your screen and shows you the surfaces that mommy long legs can actually climb up just like that. Okay. And oh, look, look, okay. So this is playing right here. So oh, press E to view security feed. Oh, so I was just noticing that this is playing as mommy long legs, I believe because of the Q and the E right here. These are her actions. And he looked at that security camera and now you can actually look at the security feed. Like, oh, look at that. Now, is he? Oh, hey, he's pulling computers off. Um, so main. Oh, and you can change cameras. Oh, that's the camera uh, for the train when they're leaving. Um. Oh, oh, he pressed. Okay, so he pressed all three of those buttons. So it seems like that is going to be a task that we have to do to get out. I guess you could do it as your. A single player, uh, but you have to press all three buttons or maybe those buttons because like I said, this is kind of like build mode. These buttons will be scattered around the map, so you have to find them. I, I doubt they'll all be right there. That seems rather easy. This might be an additional puzzle after you've assembled the toy, then you have to go press these three buttons and that will open the door. I, I'm just speculating here, but it, it makes sense. Uh, <laughs> jump. Come on, buddy. Okay, so there are three cameras in this video. Oh, the Bunzo army was like up top there, right? Like, but I think what it's showing us, they created these uh, security cameras because he pointed it out in the very beginning up here. So wherever they put these, those will actually create feeds from those cameras. Yes, okay, okay, okay. So this is actually right here. This is some some more gameplay as Mommy Longlegs. Uh, now this says, Total lockdown. We've been wondering for a long time what this box does, or I still don't know what that means, but it's a total lockdown. 
but we can see here that uh, is he's using the web, right? Because you can see it's refilling now. So this is the web shooter. It's hitting that wall or that mirrored surface there. Doesn't show what it does when it hits a player. What is... Wait, there's bees? Stop, stop, stop. Where? Hmm? Where's the bees? There's a bee? Why are there bees? <gasps> oh my goodness, look at this. So this is a, this is an animated mommy long legs as uh, like the end of, or what was it called? Phase zero. So before she's got any skin applied to her, this is what is under her skin. Yo, this is, so this has got to be a skin we can get in the game. What's this? Oh, check this out. Oh, cool. So this is actually, he <laughs> gave him a thumbs down. So this is actually the player looking up at Huggy and this view is Huggy looking down at the player. Look how small the player looks. Oh, I gave him, okay. So can you, that looks like something we may be able to do in game. We can do thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, okay sign. Ooh, what is that? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's probably for the puzzle tower or I don't actually know. No, it wouldn't be. What, what is that? Oh, I see it. So wait, hold on right there. That's what I was going to say. So see these lights here. These are the lights that I was, uh, that we were talking about before or that we saw that he pressed, uh, and got on the train. And it looks like right here, they're putting a gear in to this, uh, yeah, yeah. To make this work. Oh, oh there. That's the answer. Okay. I get it. I know what it is. So those three buttons or lights uh, that, that were on that uh, security feed, he just pressed them. Those were auto switches, but these are lights that tell you when you can go. Now we know the puzzle tower has three sides on it. That's when each puzzle is completed. So you have to complete those and then it's going to unlock the train door, but I don't think we can escape. Still, uh, there might be another gate that lets us into the train area uh, that can't be unlocked without the giant toy. Is this another puzzle? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well this, I mean, it may not actually be, oh look, you see that? So they, that, you got the green light there and then that one, and yes, it opened that up right there. Huggy was watching it. Now uh, this might actually not be the puzzle tower. After all, there are still three things you have to do. So it could be, I mean, I, and what happens if you take it off? Okay, it closes. I wonder if you're, if you're playing as the monster, could you knock off one of the blocks or pull out the gear and sabotage the, 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 the survivors? Uh, so there may be actually puzzle tower. Then you put the pieces together. Then you have to do these three locks and then you can escape. Okay. Let's, <laughs> Holy cow. He grabs it, bites his head and slams him to the ground. Whoa. Oh, he's holding a, he's holding a character there. And, uh, let's see. So directionless something for the box. So each player or I'm sorry, each monster has its own ability. There was the one called total lockdown. This is called directionless something when you are huggy wuggy. What in the world? What? Oh, those are cat bees. Now it makes sense. Oh, Huggy's run cycle. So, uh, when you're sprinting, that's what it's going to look like when you're chasing people. Ah, and this is what it'll look like as you sort of stalk them. He's still actually pretty quick when he's just walking. Um, what is this? Okay. Oh, look, 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 so look at the hands. It's like a, uh, like a present, like a gift gift player and we got huggy wuggy there it's a little it, it's a lot pixelated <laughs> jeez oh okay there so that's the first time we've seen anybody oh oh my goodness i did not realize what he was doing with the hands <laughs> and huggy wuggy slapped him <laughs> oh my goodness i don't know how you can control the fingers like that but i absolutely love that Ooh, looky looky all right, so this is called old one, and this is uh, the loadout screen, right? Uh, we can see like just a bunch of different people, the, the friends list. We've got uh, two players readying up. Uh, no one has a skin, but you can see that one's blue, one's yellow. Uh, this would probably be, this is probably going to be the default when you play the game. Uh, you're just gonna be able to pick a color. So ready up, their game starting. And oh, select character. So they hadn't added boxy boo to this yet. And it says our favorite 
blue monkey-like toy. Press E to break objects and shift to sprint forward and hug a player. So that's what the ability is. It's to hug them and kill them. I wonder what objects are breakable. Oh, I, I was hoping it would show us Mommy Longlegs also. Okay, so this is an outdoor map. So it says charge hug and it says trap breaker. So the players can put... Oh yeah, wait, players can put down traps. Oh, and look at this. It says also right here, uh, it's hard to see under the blue, but left slash right click to swing. So, I mean, that makes sense if this stays in the game and I'm not sure that it did, it will because I, I don't remember seeing anything about that. Uh, he will be able to swing from objects uh, like a monkey. This one's called Old 2. Okay, so there's a bunch of players in this game. So they're doing like, oh, this is a generator. So now we're playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Uh, and this may have changed also, uh, now that they've got the puzzle tower, that might be the thing. Yeah, because look, there's tons of generators. Maybe this is a different game mode, uh, but that's just like Dead by Daylight. Oh, look, okay, escape. So it'll probably give us that overlay when, uh, when we do <laughs> finally get to the point where we could escape. It'll tell us where to go. And there it is. You escaped. Now, oh, look at this. Oh, so... Oh, so this is uh, mini huggies, right? And it says pull down and open hole. I don't know why you would want to do either of those things. But yeah, it's get, th this is probably going to be the voice lines that are spoken. Ah, crap. Sorry about that. One thing I neglected to mention. We need people like you to get these parts is because the locations, they aren't really <clears throat> secure. Sharon, I need you to start looking for a new resource extraction guy. Oh, geez. Johnny, Maggie, those who are still alive, well, great. Lucky for you, buddy. With their help, the three of you can probably survive down there just fine. I'll send Bill to get you all out. Oh, and they're smacking the huggies. Now, what is this? This looks like, oh, check that out. So this is one of the uh, the skins, and this is a, the hand, and it's fully animated there. And I guess this would be the other side of it. Let's see. Oh, wow. Dang, that is so good. Portal Lounge. So these are the, the I think, these are the ones that you can hide in uh, from the monsters. And I, I, <laughs> I mean, it looks like a porta potty and it says employee mental health retreat. And there's one of the buttons there. All right, and the rest, so, <laughs> he looks kind of, oh, jeez, what is that? Uh, the rest looks like stuff we, ooh, I was going to say mostly seen except for this. Check it out. Okay, so, so I'm not sure this will be part of the game, but I'm noticing that he has a different skin for each hand. I feel like they would, should be matched, uh, but we can see like a rainbow skin on this grab pack hand and like a, a spiked leather glove on this hand here. Uh, this, this kind of looks like an early concept for the uh, puzzle tower. These are the toy parts. Uh, there's another one of those generators there that we saw them pressing. Uh, this is a bunch of different assets in it. So yeah, that's just the first yeah. folder. Uh, now there are character assets and a lot of these are like, just like pictures and you know, little things that a lot of it we've seen already. Oh, this is so cool. This is like when Huggy was first designed. Only curves on the arms, no sharp angles. Huggy does not have bones. E even down to his fur, should have sharp points, no rounded fur. Uh, so four and one quarter heads uh, of his own head tall. Let's see if we can find anything about boxy, but there's nothing like that, but like, oh, that's, <laughs> that's cute. Just a bunch of little, ah, uh, you know, you, you f he's really cute, but also like not. <laughs> at the same time, you know? Uh, but but what's important here, and I think what you guys probably want to see is all of the cosmetics and skins we're gonna be able to unlock. Oh my goodness. Let's go with the skins, right? Okay, so these are gonna be the player skins and like, we can just like tab through them, right? Yeah, so you can see all of the different colors that you can make your character. Wait, why is there, oh, there's the rainbow one, which is probably gonna be really expensive. God, you, can you like, so we can seal the skins here. Oh, that one's nice too. Oh, this is like a fall guy. Like these are the fall guys colors. 34 different skins here and like all the way to like textures of like stone. Like this is what a ruby, silver. Probably one is default. Let's just go with, well, yellow or blue. But then there's like 30 plus skins. 
imagine they're only 99 cents each. That's already 30 bucks right there. <laughs> I want to unlock everything in the game. I wonder if you bought all of the skins, what do you guys think it would cost? Like, we don't know how much anything is is going to cost, what customizations are going to cost. Uh, but let's just let's just put post in the comments a random number that you think is what it would cost to unlock everything. I'm going to go with a thousand dollars. It'll probably cost a thousand dollars to unlock everything somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, so look right here. So 28 items for shoes and these are the different shoes so we've got like uh anime girl shoes astronaut shoes balloon feet but th th that's mickey mouse's foot dude <laughs> that is mickey mouse's foot oh you can get boxy boo's foot oh what is it bunzo's feet cat feet chicken shoes Ooh, a nice pair of dress shoes engineer boots uh, hazmat blue shoes so these are more defaults these are probably the cheaper ones huggy shoes are probably that is Kissy Missy's foot. Yep. Night boots. Mavi long leg shoes. Neon punk shoes. Ninja shoes. So they did do that ninja skin. No shoes. So you can actually not wear any. Uh, police shoes. Princess shoes. Robot feet. <laughs> Flip flops. <laughs> Scrap metal shoes. Uh, skeleton feet. Slick shoes, soldier boots. Okay, uh, let's go with shirts. Oh, cool. So right here, so anime girl dress and that tracks with the anime girl shoes. Now uh, you can see the uh, the black skin here. That is gonna be, you could make that the pride skin. You could make that a yellow skin, a blue skin, uh, any of those other skins that we saw, you can put underneath it. So just imagine those as different colors if you want. This is Buzz Lightyear. It says astronaut, a balloon torso. Okay, okay, so you can be a balloon animal, and I guess that's what those feet are. We're about a banded hoodie, boxy as a, a shirt. Oh, that's cool. A brawn floaty, uh, Bunzo's shirt, cat shirt, chicken. Oh, the Monopoly man, <laughs> engineer vest, uh, hazmat. Okay, see, so these I, I would say are defaults. Uh, you can pick any of these colored shirts. Oh, that's definitely not default. You can wear a Huggy Wuggy suit, a Kissy Missy suit. This is a night chest plate. Oh, the leather jacket with the shirt is kind of cool. Uh, also, the hoodie is nice. And it says mommy shirt, but you can see on this one specifically uh, that it changes the entire body shape, right? Like, look at, you see, like, this is how the shape of the body is. We put her on, it deletes uh, so much of the actual skin. Uh, neon punk shirt. That's the ninja. No shirt, which is going to be default as well. Plain hoodie. Uh, playtime hoodie. The cop. Princess dress. Oh, the robot torso. That's cool. Oh, this is like the Tin Man. Oh, I'm sorry. Scrap metal body. Skeleton, which we have seen. Soldier. And that is it. So 33 <laughs> properties. So how many? 509 files. So there are 500 items in here. Nah, you know what? I'll stick with it. I'll stick with $1,000. Let's say uh, average cost for an item is $2, which means there could be ones that are $1 and ones that are $3, uh, but averaging out to $2 each, yeah, $1,000 is a good estimate. So now we're on to pants, and these should pretty much match up with the other ones. So we've got the anime girl socks. So the legs will be sticking out. Uh, we've got uh, Buzz Lightyear's pants. Balloon legs. Gosh, I want to see these all together. We've got Boxy's pants, Bunzo's pants. <laughs> that looks like his the, the 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 back end of Bunzo, you know? Uh, we got cat pants, chicken pants, uh, cool jeans, swim trunks. Nice. Uh, dress pants, engineer pants. That looks like a hazmat suit, kind of, but these are the hazmat pants, uh, which are probably the cheaper ones or maybe ones you can earn without having to buy them. Huggy Wuggy pants, Kissy Missy pants, night leggings, and again with the legs, you see the shape change? I mean, the angle is the same, but it skinnies them out and everything. Uh, neon punk pants, ninja pants, no pants. <laughs> Wait! Oh, okay. <laughs> Got no pants, really? Guys, <laughs> police pants, princess pants, robot legs. Oh, wow. This is the same as the mommy long legs one where it really does change the whole uh, shape of the character skeleton legs soldier pants. So these are masks you can wear over your player skin a bear mask a boogie bot mask boxy mask brawn bulldog bunzo a candy cat a, a, just a cat cat bee 
Oh, just whiskers. That's cool. Chemist Walter White, <laughs> a chicken, a dog, a fox mask. Oh, <gasps> the gas mask from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. You can actually wear the mask. Still gives us no clues about Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, but if the player's wearing this, this is something we will probably need to wear in Chapter 3 rather than it being an enemy as we, or as I previously thought. Giraffe, goat, uh, Google the eyes. Yeah, that, I'm gonna be doing that one. Huggy face, a kawaii mask, kissy missy. Wow, there's a lot of these. Lion, a medical mask, uh, mommy long legs, the, the, the monopoly guy, uh, monkey face, mouse, no mask, owl, panda, peacock, pig, <laughs> bug a pillar. You gotta have BJ bug a pillar, plague doctor mask. Now that, you know, what's interesting is all these masks for the most part are flat, but the plague doctor mask is 3d. That's really weird. It stands out. Rabbit, raccoon, sunglasses, hats. Of course there's hats. Why not? We've got an alien hat, uh, an anime girl hair with the cat ears, astronaut helmet, uh, the balloon hat. <laughs> now imagine taking the balloon hat. I don't know if you could do this, but take the balloon hat and put the googly eyes on it. Baseball hat, boxy hat is cute, bunzo head, cat hood, chef's hat, chicken hat, cowboy, flamingo's hat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> A uh, crown, an e oh, that's cool. A fedora, a hard hat. These are the default, uh, the Among Us hats. Among Us! A uh, hot dog hat, Huggy Wuggy his head, a jack o lantern head, and that, that looks like Zardy. A uh, jester hat, Kissy Missy's head. We've got the knight's head. We got, again, with the neck. A uh, mommy's head, a uh, neon pigtails, the ninja hood, no hat, party hat. Oh wow, a pharaoh's hat, a plunger hat. Oh, we need a toilet hat. A police hat, a ponytail, princess hair, a rainbow, robot head, scrap metal head. And there's no eyes, but again, you could you could put those uh, googly eyes on this one. A skeleton, kind of reminds me of Sans, you know? It does, right? Slick hair, a uh, snorkel, a soldier helmet, a sombrero, the Monopoly Man top hat, also in white, wizard's hat. So we got grab packs and hands. So let's go with the grab packs first because they're connected to the hands. So this is what the gun in each hand looks like. This is what it will look like on your back here, uh, the barrel. Uh, this one's called blueberry. Okay, uh, this is the, oh, boxy. So look, it's all, so it's instead of like the, uh, this connection, it's a spring because it's boxy boo. And this is what it'll look like on your back. Really cute. This is the cherry one, which is just red, honestly, a classic. Yeah. A uh, fish tank does not exist. Oh, there's some missing ones. So there's one called fish tank, which oh, I want to see an aquarium. There's a galaxy one. And then we've got the golden one. That's got it expensive. Uh, this one is the hot pack. These might be animated as well, but I don't know because these are just uh, images. We've got the Huggy Wuggy. Yes, the Huggy Wuggy one with the little Huggy Wuggy backpack. We got the Kissy Missy backpack. We've got uh, Lavender, uh, which like th these these colored ones are just the classic skin with uh, just a little bit different coloring. We got the Mommy pack. Look at her legs wrapped up around her arms. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, Olive, another colored one. Uh, oh, the party pack. And this probably goes with those gift hands if you want them to match. That's pretty cool. Oh, and these are like paper plates and like the crepe paper. Cool. Rainbow pack doesn't exist. We've got the robot pack. Yeah, it looks. Oh, and look at the wires. Uh, we've got the ruby pack. Eh. Uh, we've got the scrap pack, which should be cool. Yeah, it's like a car engine here with like a a soda can and like a valve, like all put together. Uh, we got the silver pack, the skeleton. Oh, wow. Ew, gross. These are like intestines or something connecting it together. That one's disgusting. Uh, we got the watermelon. So a lot of these are just recolors of the original. Let's go to the hands. Oh my, there are 128 hands. 
Uh, oh, but it's like doubles. So wait, is this just showing us? Okay, yeah, so we, you know what? Is there a way to look at just the large ones? So this, <laughs> this is the B hand. Uh, <laughs> that is just weird. Got black, blue. Oh, this one is cool. Boogie Bot Silverware hand. Uh, Boxy's hand. Wow, how detailed is that? Bunzo's silverware hand. So it's gonna be probably gonna have the silverware hands for each character, just with a different plate in the middle. Uh, we got the camouflage hands. Oh, cat paw. Oh, that looks so realistic and furry. Chapter two hand. Oh my goodness. The prototype experiment 1006 hand right here. Oh, I want those. Uh, we got a crystal. Oh, okay. I think the hands so far are my favorite parts of the skins look like this. And we know already, so this is the electrical hand. We know that this is going to be animated so we can assume, well, we can't assume, but we can speculate that a lot of these other hands will actually be animated as well. Oh my oh, the finger puppet hand, adorable, <laughs> super adorable. And what I really like is that They've made it so that the finger puppets are all facing you. So you can look at them while you're running and walking a frozen ice hand. Whoa, yo, wait, where are the infinity stones, right? This is Thanos's glove, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. What? How many fingers does Mickey Mouse have? I don't think he's got five gold hand. Whoa, what a graffiti hand, hot hand which we know goes with that hot grab pack. Uh, we've got Huggy Wuggy's hand. Uh, oh no, uh-uh, no human hands. Uh-uh, never, never, never. Uh, we got Kissy Missy's hand, we got a leather glove. We got Mommy's hand and her fingers are shorter than I would expect, but I guess that makes sense since it is grab pack related. <gasps> yes, so we saw this skin. This is part of the Mommy long leg skin, the Octo skin. Uh, this is the Octo hand. That is really cool. The party hand, which we saw in one of the videos. Pride hand, kinda. Uh, I mean, I guess it's some of the colors of the pride flag. Uh, pride hand too. Okay, so anything that's like sort of r like rainbow or uh, multicolored is considered a pride hand. This is the real pride hand. <laughs> uh, oh, and this too. Okay, I'll give it to you on those. Robot hand. Whoa, look at the detail and you can assume again that these will light up a uh, ruby hand whoa yo oh i love this this scrap hand it's got like a swiss army knife and like a zippo lighter and, a, and, and and like all kinds of just random stuff put together a lock and key and he built it from combs and <laughs> that's really cool uh we've got the silver hand we've got the skeleton hand the spiky hand which i saw uh, with the glove and uh, oh, that's that's Huggy Wuggy uh, stone hand. Oh my goodness, the turkey hand. <laughs> I mean, that's how you draw the turkey, and then they just did. okay. You got you know what I mean. Oh, a voxel hand. This is like like Minecraft, but like way more detailed. That is cool. Oh, we got the wooden hand. We're getting in the W's. We got oh yeah, I was gonna say Huggy Wuggy, but that's yellow, and that. We made it through all of those and now we get to see the skins for the monsters. That's all the player stuff. Let's start. Uh, let's start in order of introduction into the poppy playtime uh, lore. Let's start with Huggy Wuggy. So we have baby blue Huggy Wuggy, sort of a lighter color uh, than, the, than the dark blue fur. And that's wait, the buggy Wuggy. He got no eye. I feel like this was like how they initially modeled him. And then they're like, yeah, just, just include it as a skin for people to buy. Uh, we got golden Huggy Wuggy and every part of him is gold. Cool. And obviously going to reflect like crazy with all the lighting. Uh, green Huggy Wuggy, uh, which we've kind of seen as a mini Huggy. We've got regular Huggy Wuggy is probably the skin that you get by default. We got Killy Willy and we can see him fully detailed. Yo. They did a really good job with this skin. Uh, we got Kissy Missy. Uh, we've got, well, no skin, which I think is like the other one. We got orange Huggy Wuggy. We've got purple Huggy Wuggy. We got rainbow Huggy Wuggy that we can't see. Ah, but we know it's coming. Uh, we've got red Huggy, robot Huggy. Is this the same one that we saw? It looks different, right? The phase zero. This isn't the phase zero one. It's hard to tell. 
uh, Ruby Huggy Wuggy, Silver Huggy Wuggy, White Huggy Wuggy, and Yellow Huggy Wuggy. Now let's jump to Mommy Long Legs. I told y'all, strap in. This is gonna be long. <laughs> this was a huge leak. We've got Black Widow Mommy Long Legs. Oh my. I mean, I don't like spiders, but dude, this is cool. Look at all the detail on her face, on her arms. She's got like tattoos or something. That's impressive. And that's one we definitely haven't seen and, and very different than just like a recolored Huggy Wuggy, in my opinion. Uh, we've got Blue Mommy, which this is, this is Daddy Long Legs coloring. I wonder if we're gonna see Baby Long Legs is um, coloring as well on her. Never mind. So as mommy long legs you can get a daddy long legs skin so he's not going to be a separate playable character in the game which sort of makes sense because we haven't actually seen him in Bobby playtime chapter three we do know he exists uh, but maybe he's just a disguise i mean because if you take that mustache off and take off the hat there's mommy long legs again you know Ooh, golden so we're probably going to see a golden boxy boo as well uh golden mommy long legs we've got green mommy long legs yeah i guess what is this made mommy long legs this again like the uh black widow one is completely different something we've never seen before regular and she like i said she looking dirty she looks dirty and really messed up honestly i don't know what mom spaghetti what is this mom sp the noodle mommy long legs spaghetti long legs are you kidding me i did not even <laughs> she's made of noodles this is my skin I mean, and and like you, you think this is spaghetti sauce, but I'm telling y'all, something, something else, else is, is red, red okay? okay. And then, <laughs> she got a little basil on top. <laughs> yeah, dude, that is crazy. Okay, so I think these skins are, oh yeah, and I love this one too. This octopus one. Like look at the octopus on her head and we, and we saw it in, uh, in one of their images that they released uh, saying the game was gonna be delayed. Uh, but we couldn't get this detailed on it. You can see her eyes are different. Like she's got that on her head. She's got like multiple octopuses uh, pieces. Uh, but these skins by far way better than the Huggy Wuggy ones. We got orange, we got purple, we got red, and we got robot. And yeah, okay, so this one is, so the, the Huggy Wuggy one was probably also that phase zero one. This one's cool too, I do. I'm definitely, if, I, if I'm not going to buy all the skins for the game, I think I'm going to buy all of the Mommy Long Leg skins because whoever did these are out, out of their minds. This is great. Now let's go to Boxy. So we got Boxy Boo skins and there's one that's missing. So we've got Blue Boxy. All right. We've got Box She Boo. Box She Boo. It's the girl Boxy Boo. Regular. So you guys can see. I mean, so, oh, it changes this to a heart. And then we've got Boxy Burr. <laughs> yeah, dude, that makes sense. He's a present, he's got the Santa hat on. We've got cardboard, which we saw in the concept art. Uh, they did implement that. It's got the Playtime logo, Playtime Co logo on it. We've got gold, which we expected, uh, which is kind of okay. I don't know, maybe it'll look better in the lighting. Actually, yeah, I mean like this, th these teeth and stuff, like with this gold, it reminds me of the animatronics in FNAF. I mean, maybe if there's a silver one, you'll, you'll see more what I mean. We got green boxy. We got lunch boxy, which we saw also in that Rocky image. <laughs> that is absolutely disgusting, but also cool. Uh, we've got orange. We've got pink. We've got purple. We've got rainbow, but we can't see it. We've got the robot version and I think in that image that we saw, he was actually tucked into his box. So we actually haven't, oh no, but we did sort of see, so he's called Robot Boxy or Phase Zero Boxy. Uh, I think I called him Metal Boxy Boo in my short, uh, but yeah, you can see all the wiring for him. Um, sharp teeth. Uh, we've got Ruby, uh, which I think the Ruby ones are actually gonna look a lot better when uh, in game. Uh, because they just look kind of like red there. We got silver and yeah, this is what I was talking about. This looks like Nightmare Freddy teeth, you know? And then we've got Vault. Oh yeah, we saw this one. We saw this one. Yeah, so they implemented this one as well. Uh, it's a vault or a safe. And we got white boxy. We got yellow boxy. Woof. All right, guys, that is it. And uh, in my opinion, the Mommy Long Legs skins are the best. Let me know what your favorite skin the whole thing was. Uh, for each character, for uh, Mommy Longlegs, uh, Boxy Boo, and 
for Huggy Wuggy. Let me know which of your uh, favorite monster skins uh, for each. Post them in the comments. Uh, my favorite, I think, <laughs> for well, obviously for Mommy Longlegs, it, it's, it's the noodle one. It's, it's the spaghetti one. I mean, like, the thing is, though, like, this one looks so cool, too. Like, I want to play it because it's noodles, but, like, ah, her skins are so good. Out of this world, man. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, you enjoyed the link, you're looking forward to Project Playtime. Click the like button, subscribe, so you can be notified when I finally do get to play it. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And, of course, Noodle Line.